Well, it was a night of heated conversations between the public and Chesterfield Planning Commission mm. over two new developments that are coming to the county. Yet yeah, most of the public comments were in opposition of the proposal for the Upper Magnolia Green Area. Caroline Coburn joins us now to go in depth on what the project would mean for the community and why so many people are speaking out against it. Caroline. Well, Robin Reba, behind me along the Route 360 corridor here in Chesterfield County, you can soon see hundreds of new homes, new schools, a new fire station, a new manufacturing plant, and a technology park, all part of these projects. But some neighbors say they're worried that the roads in this area can't handle the extra traffic these projects will bring. Now, the Upper Magnolia Green project is broken into two parts. So the first is the Upper Magnolia Green East rezoning request, and that includes hundreds of homes, schools, and a library. The Planning Commission didn't seem to have any issues with that request, as it passed unanimously five to nothing. But the Upper Magnolia Green West rezoning request, which includes a technology park, manufacturing, a new high school and a fire station, is where both commissioners and neighbors had concerns. Although the request ultimately passed three to two, officials say this project will bring jobs to the area and important residential development. But some neighbors are worried about traffic impacts and environmental concerns. One resident who spoke last night cited a Yale study that looked at pharmaceutical manufacturing in metro areas of the country, and it found areas that had pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities had an unusually elevated concentration of those drugs made in that community and the local water supply. It only takes one accident, one negligent violation, one fire, one chemical leak, and the reservoir can be destroyed, and the people will flee this toxic place. Why are you moving so quickly on such a big case without factually notifying residents or doing due diligence? Now, the Planning Commission's vote doesn't necessarily mean construction will be starting anytime soon, as the Board of Supervisors will have the final say on whether or not these major changes come to Chesterfield County. And you're right, major changes they are. Mm -hmm. Caroline Colbert reporting live for us. Thanks.